Hello everybody, this is Carrie and Andrea with the Schmidt House and we're about to be off to a, an exciting fun four-day adventure just Andrea and I. Uh, we are going down to the Chaparral Wildlife Management Area. We got drawn for a javelina hunt, javelina wild hog hunt. Uh, we're very excited about it. The girls Harmony and Avery will not be going with us. They're going to be staying with their sister Justine. Uh, they'll they'll have a great time there. They'll be out on a big ranch, and there's plenty to do out there: horses, lakes, fishing, whatever, whatever activities Justine's going to have for them. They'll, they'll have a blast. Time has patience for. Yes. <laughs> yeah. We just don't feel they're quite ready to go with us on this type of hunt. You know they kind of small they don't they don't have a lot of patience even going deer hunting or fishing they you know they're uh, they're not quite there yet i don't think they would enjoy themselves yeah so the state of texas doesn't have a lot of government land like a lot of states are you know have mainly owned by the government texas is not like that uh, there are some state parks and, and quite a few of them and uh what they call wildlife management areas and on these parks and wildlife management areas, they do manage the wildlife. So uh, throughout the year, they'll have different hunts that they will have people go on. And how you do that, you can go online to Texas Parks and Wildlife. Mm -hmm. I don't know you want to talk yeah, a little about Yeah, you go that. to Texas Parks and Wildlife's website. Um, but you normally have to buy these, these chances in the fall, but you can pick the animal, you can pick the park, you pay about three to $9 per chance. So it's not very expensive. And we've been doing it for a few years. Yeah, and we've never gotten picked before no, until, until this one. Uh, but I have been down there. We've been down on this on the chaparral several times. I uh, just showed up down there as standby hunters, and we always were allowed to hunt. We were always picked. It's you know a lot of a lot of the people who get drawn don't show up, so there's spaces available, and and they they need to control the population of these hogs and and uh, uh, animals because they do tear up. Uh, they tear up the ground, they tear up the property. And, uh, so that, uh, throughout the year, they have game biologists out there and they do counts on the deer and the hogs and the javelina and, and everything that's out there. They actually even have warthogs out there, which is a new evasive species that was somewhere down there in that area, got loose several years ago, a, a group of them, and now they've gone out of control. So. Uh, yeah, if we run across those, we take one of those. Um, I've, in the past, I've never, I've never taken a javelina or a wild hog down there. I've never really had the desire to, to try to cook or eat a javelina. But we've done a lot of research in it, and we decided we're going to go ahead and take, take one or two if we, if we can see one. And we're going to bring it home, and we're going to cook it, and we'll do a video on that too. Uh, but don't forget, this is a hunting video. Yes, this is a hunting video. So if hunting is not your thing, uh, understand that. You know, you may just want to turn it off at this point because we're about to head out, and the next thing you'll see from us will be out there in the in the chaparral, uh, heading to our our uh, compartment, our assigned compartment. So we're excited. Can't wait. Yep, and don't forget, if you haven't already, please subscribe and then like this video. That'll help us out. Awesome. Even if you don't like it, subscribe and like it. It'll help us out. Um, just wait for us for our next one. We'll have another one coming out. Uh, what's What's the next one coming out? Well, we need an egg. Egg, um, what'd you do with the eggs the other day? Oh, yeah, pickled eggs. That's but right. It may even come out before this one. We'll yeah, see. Okay. Yeah, that should come out before this one. And some more steps sure. on the shed. We've got that coming out too soon. Okay. Okay. So yeah, we got some stuff coming up. Uh, actually, the con the concrete contractor for our shed uh, called, and he was going to be here today to start forming. And I told him, well, I'm not going to be here, and I really wanted to be here to film it and stuff. And so he said, oh, it's okay. He he finds something else to do for a few days, and uh, so we'll have that coming out pretty soon too. The, forming the concrete and pouring of the concrete for our new shed. Okay, well we'll see you guys out there in the out there in the chaparral. Man, I'm really excited about it. I'm, Me too. Yeah. See you later. Bye. Bye.
morning. We made it here to the Chaparral this morning. We're about an hour before check-in. Got into Catula last night. Had good supper at a little local restaurant there. And, uh, everything good so far. So we're waiting. Nobody else is here yet, which is surprising. Usually when we've been here for standby, it'd be packed with people already at this time. So I don't know what's up with that, but we're about an hour early. So we're gonna walk around and check check the place out here. We have an all elusive, almost extinct payphone. Does that have a dial tone? Nope. Oh, you don't see those anymore. Most people don't know what that is. Yeah. Wouldn't know how to work one. Yeah. each one of us get a little name card and when we go out we just take it up here under our guides Whitney hang it up here and when we come back in we take it and put it here and so forth and so on that way they know you know they can check and make sure that nobody's out there and has any issues if at the end of the day and it's dark and somebody's still out hunting they're, they're gonna go out and look for them so you definitely want to be sure and not forget to, to change that so our guides heading us out to our compartment we're gonna be hunting out here Let's see we just saw some deer About 10 people here total. Yeah, there aren't very many people here at all. Way less than the last time I was here and any time Carrie's been here before. This might be it. Let's see, pasture two. We have four elevated hunting blinds on our compartment. This is the first one. We're just checking them out to see our... Oh yeah. Checking them out to see how much you can see. And this one's pretty good, looks like. We're gonna check the other three out before we decide which one to hunt today. So here's our next one, 308. Last time I hunted here, we only had one of these, so we have options this time. See all, all different directions here. Here, everywhere? Yeah. Okay. It's 352. Yep. So this is the third of our four options. 352 on the map. Yep. Here's our fourth one coming up on. The roads are a little rough back here. This is all chewed up here, man. This is all tore up. Look at this. Over here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Let's see. 
we're seeing some tracks that aren't deer. That looks fresh too. Since it's rained, rain, yeah. Yeah. Well, you want to hunt driving on it. You want to hunt this one and that one over there? Okay. Start from right there. Put a little bit out. Okay. Just dribble it out. Okay. We'll go up that way a little bit. We'll turn around and we'll come and we'll go that way a little bit. Okay. And I'll back up and, and uh, drop you off. Should have brought that chicken scooper along. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Well, here's a red cup back here. Okay, we're about to bait alfalfa and corn, apple, si apple scented corn. We are allowed to bait for this hunt. Okay, Andrew just dropped me off at my, was it 352? Yep. And she's going to head on to her spot. Good luck. We baited that Sendero up there a good ways. Baited that, baited that one, and we went down there to the little turn. See if something comes out. But here in a little bit, I'm gonna eat a little snack. It's still early, barely noon. It's gonna be a long afternoon if we don't see anything. Hopefully we get to see some nice deer anyway. This is Andrea from the Schmidt House. I'm set up in my blind. Gary helped me put out and feed here. And I did the same for him over there, and then I drove back. You can see my truck kind of way off in the distance. Just have to be careful if anything comes that way not to shoot. But we've got four of these compartments, and there aren't any chairs in them, so we did bring chairs, thank goodness. So, Gonna see what you got to work with. If this is going to be your first time to go hunting at the chaparral, you kind of know what to expect. We've got a pretty good view. I'm gonna sit down and have a little lunch. It's about one o'clock in the afternoon, and we're gonna hunt till about dark. I think the official time is like 6:53 or 57, something like that. But okay, it's gotta get quiet now. We'll catch back up with maybe some wildlife sightings or even a animal down.
bunch of blood on this tree. the trail that I just found. I have quite a bit right here. Heads off that direction. I can see it. Maybe I'm getting close. The blood trail keeps going right there. Right there. And I think there it is. I heard that tree. Hope it's dead. I got my pistol ready. just in case. I don't see its belly moving. Yeah, I think it's dead. Oh boy. That was a little intense. I think I hit it in the right spot too. See here. I guess that's the right spot. At least we're not having to gut it. To say it stinks pretty bad. It's smelly. So let's see, I'm gonna see if I can drag it out of here. Oh, I guess I think it's a girl. Ooh, I can see fleas. Okay, here we go. A lot easier to find yeah. than mine. drug it out of the bushes over there. Yeah. 
slam the doors and they're not even getting spooked. Drove right up in the car. This is crazy. My dead one's back there behind it. I'm pretty sure it has been gut shot. Really getting spooked a little bit. It's crazy. and we take some body measurements and we hope some of those body measurements too will help us as a quick way to okay. determine the age in the future. So it's the Aggies are doing this project and I don't know if you heard the biologist talking a minute ago but it's a five-year project the biggest project they've done with ever biggest project they've done ever with Havelina. these are all masters and PhD students from Texas A&M this is just the beginning of this project they're doing it here and that's some other wildlife management areas in the state Okay, today is our second day of our hunt. Uh, we went out this morning. It's actually in the afternoon. It's 1.49 right now. Just got back from eating lunch. We went out this morning. Didn't do any recording. Uh, didn't see a whole lot. We saw uh, like three coyotes, coyotes, but they were off in the distance. Uh, we saw a couple of white-tailed deer. That's about it. It was very windy, cold. It was in the in the 40s and 15, 20 mile an hour winds, and we got about 17, 15 to 17 this afternoon, and it's 52 degrees right now, so a little chilly, and I don't know if that has effect on anything moving or not, but we're gonna try again. There goes Kerry. Day two afternoon. He dropped me off this time. We're pretty close to each other. Okay, this is the, the stand that I started out in yesterday. Didn't stay in too long. And when we pulled up here, when I pulled up here a while ago, as I pulled off, uh, there was a wild hog there on the, on the road 
there's still some corn that I threw out yesterday. Just cleaning that up. So I rebaited. See if he comes back. So three coyotes came out about oh, 30, 45 minutes ago. The first two were running too fast, but I got the gun ready and a third one came out. And I had a decent shot and I didn't take it. I weighed a little bit and I did shoot at it, but I'm pretty sure I didn't hit it, but I just wanna walk over here and make sure. Well, I don't see any blood. So I don't think I shot it, but I just do see an awesome sunset. Some really cool colors. Beautiful. Slowly working their way toward me. But daylight's not on my side. And I've already got my one javelina limit. I just enjoy watching them. You can hear that, but it's the morning of day three. Bunch of coyotes off in the distance again. We put corn out. Carrie and I are in two separate blinds again. Sun's about to peak up here in a few minutes. Technically, we're in shooting time, but to me, it's still too dark. Oh, nothing out there anyways. There they go again. If you can hear them. water hmm. yeah just like dead ends into a big pond so when we got here the other day the biologist that runs the place or the superintendent told us that somebody had lost keys in our compartment and just to kind of keep an eye out for them and guess what we found them. And they're nowhere near where he said they would be. Yeah. Just so. Left out, happened upon them. If they're yeah. the same keys, unless they're somebody else's, but. So we'll bring them back and give them to the, the guy. <laughs> and he can hopefully get them back to their owner. Another trophy for our hunt. There you go. <laughs> it's okay, it's our last day. 
of our hunt here at the Chaparral WMA. It's the last afternoon. Um, we've had a great time. It's been very successful. Mm -hmm. we, we harvested two javelinas the first day, right off the bat. We've been here six times before. And man, this has been the best hunt yet. We've seen hog, we've seen coyote, we've seen a few deer, not a lot of deer, but we've really had a great time. Um, you know, in the 30 years I've been coming here, uh, the names changed, but the attitude hasn't. You know, from, from the very beginning, it was David, Alberto, the uh, park rangers here, super nice people. You know, they were willing to answer questions that had been asked a million times before, and they did that enthusiastically. Uh, now we have names like Diego, Whitney, Lori, super nice people, very informative, very helpful. Uh, it's been a great experience for Andrew and I, uh -huh. I think. Uh, awesome. Uh, great place to come, Chaparral, WMA. Uh, now, if too many people put in, our likelihood of getting picked will be go down. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, but, that, but that's okay. That's okay, man. If you, you enjoy this thing, even if you don't want to really hunt, you know, so much wildlife to see birds. I mean, it's just a crazy amount of different birds. I was sitting there in a the blind, birds I'd never seen before. I'm not a bird guy, but I was finding myself self Googling birds, you know, trying to identify these birds. Uh, just, yeah, really, really had an awesome time here this weekend. And, you know, if, if you have any questions about this place, go to Texas Parks and Wildlife, look, look up Chaparral. Uh, Get a phone number, call down here, ask questions. They're ha happy to help you. Mm -hmm. uh, and and We're about to... we'll definitely be back here yeah. again for, for more. I hope know. so. Yes. Maybe bring the girls in a few years yes. when they get a little yeah. older. Yeah, whether they want to or not. Yep. <laughs> I hope gonna, they like hunting. They're going to be <laughs> outdoors people, whether yeah. they want to be or not. Yes. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go on this, this last hunt and maybe we'll get, we'll get a hog or a coyote or. If not, we're going to have fun anyway. Yep. Okay, see you later. There's Gary off from a distance. We just got finished baiting over here for this evening's hunt. As we pulled around that corner right there, we saw two javelina. One of them was really big one. Gary said he thinks it's bigger than both the ones we shot the other day. He parked his truck way off. And now he's walking over here. Three, there's another one coming out. Is that another one coming another out? One, yeah. Yeah. Those are big. There's another oh, one. Man, yeah, there's a bunch of them. We get so lucky to see a warthog. That'd be awesome. Got something to watch. I think they were already here because we fed here earlier. That's all folks, it's Sunday night, the last, the end of our last hunt. We're gonna leave a little bit early. We have to you know, pack up our two javelinas, get them out of their cooler, get ice on them. And uh, those folks wanna get home too to their family. So uh, we've had a very enjoyable hunt. Um, two javelina, we saw some coyotes, we saw one hog. Didn't see many deer, which was surprising, but uh, at any rate, it was a great time. Like always, please like and subscribe if you like the video. And, you know, if you didn't like it, go ahead and subscribe too. That'll be a reminder never to watch us again if you don't like it. But, uh, 
Have a good one. Okay, you want to see it? What is that? Do you see it? Why is it so skinny? It's small. I it's not big. Do you see it? What is that, Avery? The javelina. Or is it a cookie? She was saying earlier she wanted to see it. Kiss. <laughs> Yucky. Your thighs. You see? Ears. What? Mouse is teeth sticking out looking at. Sharp. Do you want to go look at it, Avery? We're going to eat it. We'll go over there. Daddy will show you. His eyes. This guy's close. They're close. Right here's the teeth. See? Teeth. Our teeth. How yucky, huh? Is it yucky? Okay, Daddy and I got to work on it now, okay? You going to go back in the house and watch Scooby Doo? Mm -hmm. Okay. Eat. Okay, we just went and dropped the hide off at the local taxidermy place for a shoulder mount. Here's the meat. We're gonna put it in an ice chest and an ice bath, right Avery? Okay, and we'll let that soak for a day or two in ice and then we'll bag it all up.